For this extension lesson, we are going to take a look at area on the coordinate plane. So the steps to finding the area on the coordinate plane, we're going to plot the points, draw lines connecting these points to each other, determine the shape, and then once we have that shape, we're just going to apply the area formulas that we already know. So let's look at number one. Figure HMS has the following vertices. So let's plot two, one. So remember, we go X, Y, so we go right or left first, then up or down. So 2, 1, I'm going 2 to the right, 1 up, that is at H. For M, we're going to go 4 to the right, 5 up, which is at, that's M. And then S is 8, 1, so 8 to the right, 1 up, and that is S. So I'm going to connect these points in the order that I plotted them, okay? So, the shape that we have is a 1, 2, 3 sided triangle. So let's find the area. Remember, the formula for the area of a triangle is base times height divided by 2. So we don't have the specific measures given to us, but we do have um, the grid lines that can tell us the distance. So I'm going to use this line as my base. And then I'm going to find the height by just connecting it to the, ver the vertex on the opposite side. So you can kind of see like a little line right here would be our perpendicular height because they meet at the right angle. So I'm going to highlight that part right here as my height. And then I'm going to plug it into the formula. So I'm going to find the distance between these two points. I'm counting from this point. It goes over once, twice, two times, three times, four times, five, sorry, goes over one, two, three, four, five, six times. So the length across is six. And then for the height, one, two, three, four. So a height of four. So plugging that into my formula, my base is six times my height of four all divided by 2. Let's multiply. 6 times 4 is 24. Divided by 2 gives me 12. And since we aren't given any units for the area, I'm just going to write 12 units squared. Let's try another one. Number 2. Figure nachos has the following vertices. So N is at 1, 1. So 1 to the right, 1 up is N. A is at 1, 4. C is at 4, 4. H is at 4, 9. O is at 7, 9. And S is at 7, 1. And I'm going to connect these in that order. So N to A, A to C, C to H, H to O, O to S, N to S. So now looking at this, it is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 sides. We were only finding areas of 3 and 4 sided shapes. This is a composite shape that we're going to need to break down. You can break this down multiple ways. I am going to cut mine off right here. So I am going to determine the base and height of the first rectangle as well as the base and height of the second rectangle. So, for rectangle number one, 
we have a base of one, two, three, and a height of one, two, three. And you can count the boxes as well. One, two, three, one, two, three. So for rectangle number one, three times three is nine. For number two, finding the base, one, two, three, and height, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So for rectangle number two, we're going to multiply the base of three times the height of eight, and we get 24. So our total area, we are going to add those two together and we get a total area of 33. And again, we don't have specific units, so I'm gonna write units squared. Number three, Katy Perry wants to find the area of her flower garden so she knows how much soil she needs to buy. The coordinates of the vertices of her garden are following. If each grid square has an area of five square feet, what is the area of her yard? So I'm going to plot these. One, one, four, five, and eight, one. And then I'm going to calculate. So we have a triangle here. And remembering that means our formula is base times height divided by two. I'm going to use this bottom line as my base, and I'm going to connect this opposite vertice for my height, which I will highlight right here. So let's figure out the base length is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and our height is 1, 2, 3, 4. So plugging that into our formula, the base of 7 times the height of 4 divided by 2, so 28 divided by 2 equals 14. But we're not done this time because if we look at the question in the end it says if each grid square has an area of 5 square feet. So this is representing 14 square units, each grid square here, and each of them is representing 5 square feet. So I'm going to take my 14 I'm going to multiply because we have 14 of these boxes that equal 5. So 14 times 5 to give me my total area of 70. And this time I don't have to write unit squared because we just converted it to feet. So feet squared. Let's try another. HMS is planning to build new bleachers. The coordinates of the vertices are 3, 3, 3, 6, 5, 6, and 8, 3. So I'm going to connect in that order. We have a 1, 2, 3, 4 sided shape. It's not a rectangle, it's not a square. It's not a parallelogram because these two sides are not parallel. It is a trapezoid. So let's remember, for the trapezoid, we are going to find the area by breaking it into two triangles. We have triangle 1 and we have triangle 2. So I want to identify my parallel sides. I see that my top and my bottom here are the parallel sides. 
and then my perpendicular height is actually the side length right here because this is the one going straight up and down at the 90 degree angle. So let's find those lengths. We've got the distance here of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We've got a height here of 1, 2, 3, and a distance here of 1, 2. So for triangle number one, we have a base of five, a height of three. So I'm going to do five times three divided by two. Five times three is 15 divided by two equals 7.5. Let's do the same thing for triangle number two. So for triangle number two, we're going to use this top base here of two, but the same perpendicular height of three. So two times three divided by two. Two times three is six. Six divided by two is three. So we're going to add these two together. Seven and a half plus three is 10.5. But again, just like the last one, we're not done because at the end of the question, it says, if each grid square has an area of four square feet, what is the area of the bleachers? So we have 10 and a half of those squares and each of them represents four. So we're going to multiply by four, and we get 42. So for our final answer, our area is 42, not units squared. We converted to square feet, so feet squared.